And hey folks, how you doing? Dirt D here, and but now for something completely different. Uh, Ken Follett, The Pillars of the Earth, from the Ashes, Book 1, Chapters 1 to 7. Well, that's a mouthful. What's uh, Ken Follett's Pillars of the Earth from the Ashes, Book 1, Chapters 1 to 7 all about, you ask? Well, I don't really know. I don't really know. I know that The Pillars of the Earth is a fairly well-regarded uh, series of books. I'm not sure it might be a book. Uh, it takes place in kind of medieval, medieval England, from what I understand. I know that the church plays a big factor. I've never read any of the books. Uh, I do know, I'm pretty sure that there was a mini series put out on TV a few years back. I think I remember seeing it advertised on the old Canadian CBC or something like that. So it's well regarded anyway in terms of the setting and uh, whatnot. The reason I'm playing this right now. Uh, I found it under the uh, Steam sub subheading for point-and-click adventure games, and I've mentioned in some other videos that I'm working on like uh, a personal hobby project of mine, so I'm trying to expose myself to other types of uh, point-and-click adventure games, so maybe I can pick up a few new ideas and uh, you know implement some of that into my own projects. Another thing about this, though, the graphics, it's a very uh, graphic novelty let's say. Uh, they use, uh, if you play Darkest Dungeons, it's kind of almost like that dark uh, gothic art style. Heavy ink lines, stuff like that. It's, it's a style that I, I enjoy seeing anyway, so uh, looking forward to playing this. I did play through the tutorial. You see that we have this continue thing here, and all you do in the tutorial is you pick up some tools, you wave hello to your daughter, and you walk out a door. And you also work out on Gargoyle, but there's nothing there that uh, we really need to, to go over again. So I'm going to start uh, again, and I'm going to lose my unsaved progress. No, I will not play the tutorial now, because I, I understand how the game works. The only reason why I played the tutorial last time was to just get an understanding of what was going on. So we're in, uh, let's, we're in England in 1135, and we're in the woods in the winter. Like I said, it's a uh, very, uh, you know, I, I really, really enjoy the art cell that they've they've done with this. Even if the gameplay, like, totally straight up sucks from this point, which I'm, I'm not sure about, uh, it's very visually pleasing to look at, especially with uh, adventure games. A lot of people, myself included, uh, you know, when they think of the uh, adventure games, I think of the old kind of pixelated arts uh, for the point-and-click stuff, but there's no reason why you can't do stuff like that. Well, unless you're like me, the reason why I've gone... Actually, I'm going to let the, let the voices talk before I go on a tangent. Okay. Shiring, okay. Imagine getting hired for life. Nobody has that job security this day and age. Dude's last name is Builder. That's uh, this is a great thing about the English language. Like some people's last names are very literal, literal about like what their occupation was. So this is, that was just basically a, a cutscene that I couldn't do anything for. So here we are, we're in the woods, uh, we're with, uh, I'm presuming this is our wife and our children. Uh, it wants us to make a fire. We have some flint, uh, we have a staff, and I'm, well dude, calm down, I'm just taking a look around. So there are no more hot spots, so I'm going to pick up my flint here, and we'll use it on the firewood. And try to make everyone a little bit warm. Those are some good sized trees, I do have to say. There we go. So, uh, Billy Joel, we did start the fire here. Oh my god, turnip soup. That sounds terrible. I have a hate hate relationship with turnips. Yeah, 
Yes, none of this frozen water. We need proper water. Uh, seems like this dude's got the wanderlust, but I got like kids in another one out of the way, so these dark economic times, I'm going to go with the safe route. Something tells me a little bit later on in the game we won't be going the safe route, but I need to find some proper water. Yes, no, this frozen stuff. A clue. You just collected a clue. Clues work like items. You use them on characters to talk about them. Use them on objects to ponder how the clue and the object might be connected. Okay. Uh, good thing about this game, I can press space, and it's... What? Sell the baby. Uh, you can hold down space and it shows all the highlightable objects. Alright, so we, we got a bucket. So I'm assuming to get the water, we're going to need the bucket. Or a pot, in this case. Alright. We'll just ram that in our pockets, because in adventure games, your pockets uh, are deep. Deep, deep. Can I talk to Alfred? What's your problem, Alfred? Your huge chin getting you down, Alfred. Face like a horse. Well, let it slide. It's a stressful situation. And I mean, look at that kid's chin. He's gonna have issues. I know it. Uh, let's... I can, I can look at people, too, by right-clicking. He's become a bit stubborn, but he'll come around. He's a good boy. What about Martha? Those are our last... So the first thing, I think, when I look at my daughter, is those are our last turnips. If I don't get work tomorrow, we'll have to start begging. That's not good. I'm fine. The baby's due in the coming weeks, but she's holding up nicely. I need to get her under a roof. Let's talk to our daughter. Whoa! You need you need a childhood, child. Uh, the medieval times were, were were no place for children. So like I'm, imagine like tell it, you know your parent drops in, it's like, hey, how you doing? I gotta cut up turnips. Screw you, father. These turnips are the most important thing in the world, and for the, this crowd, it, it seems to be because I mean they're in the woods. Okay, so it's like a surveying. Rod. Don't distract me. I'm working. My god, kid. Calm down. Calm down, Martha. This is Tom's Gnumanumanum. Let's inspect it. Tom's staff. Tom retrieved this mason's tool as a farewell gift in Exeter in 1125. He used to lay the groundwork for new buildings. Shadow can tell time and plot the and point out the east, the direction a church must always face. The direction of the church. Okay, so that's that's a lot of reading. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave that. Who doesn't like Salisbury steak? Is delicious. I, I think he's actually talking about the town. Um, all right. Anywhere else we can go? Well, let's let's ask my wife about the water. Where do I have to go? Seriously, I'm with the kid on this. It's like, gather up some clean-looking snow, like the stuff that just fell. Don't go dig down to, like, dirt level. And uh, just boil that up. I get a job when we arrive in Shiring. Lady, you already are the best turnip cutter in the world. We're now deep in the woods. Looks like an old kind of Celtic shrine. It's a frozen puddle, and we got some dirty snow. It's plain snow. Dirty with crow muck? Oh, it's a crow there. Pesky beasts. I hope they stay away from our camp. Okay. Uh, well. I just want to walk around a little bit more. Uh, rock. Strong granite. Brugnanomic porticus. Okay. Or a door. 
Can I break the puddle? I'm, I get the feeling that I'm going to need something to break the puddle. That's my thought. That's my thought. Oh, the gold grunt too. Okay. Didn't I just tr tr try it with my pot? My pot on the puddle. Pot to puddle. Pot to puddle. Pot to puddle. Puddle pot. Okay. So there are little kind of quick time events where you have to line up uh, circles and rectangles here. That's okay. Breaks up the gameplay a little bit. Uh, the art style, too, reminds me a lot of um, uh, when Neil deGrasse Tyson did the updated version of Cosmos, uh, when they would have like little animated uh, story elements. Reminds me a lot of that as well, which is Whoa, cool. What's keeping you? Really, really like the the art style. So apparently, a crow has given us like some sort of traumatic event. Okay, so we broke the puddle. That should do. Take it. So apparently, like I got a vision of a crow on a uh, portcullis or something like that. All right, let's go back and actually boil some some proper water for our family, because you know that's we we don't want to just use the, the stuff that's literally falling from the sky right now. You know that that would be too easy. All right, I'm I'm sure there's like people with camping skills and stuff. It's like you should never boil water. From, from snow, it's it's full of, I don't know, some sort of worm, ice worm or something like that. Listen, the fire's going to kill whatever. Um, did you think about what I asked you? Yes. So, I, like I said, I, I got like two kids, one more out of the way. I'm going to go for the safe economic option right now. But, I, like I said, I get the feeling that I'm going to go back on my word because that's how these adventure games usually go. You've seen a few. Let's start with the walls. Dude, you can just conjure a uh, cathedral? Okay. Imagination. Uh, we need some windows in this thing. But the big old tree might be an issue, though, in the middle of the cathedral. Yes, they can. Ladders. I'm going to ask her what she suggests because she seems like a very intelligent young lady. And I want to encourage her questioning of the world and things around her. Let's go with hope. A little bit of hope's always good. Ah, uh, now we're back in the forest. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. At least we're boiling water. I mean, that was the, uh, you know, they, they see in like all the everything where like there's a, a lady giving birth to you. You gotta boil the water and tear up the sheets. What you do with that water and what you do with the sheets. I'm not 100% sure, but at least we got the water taken care of, but we don't have any sheets. 
You didn't mention it. That's kind of like a big deal. Because, like, making a human is hard. Alfred, like, your big old chin is not helping right now. Help Agnes. Okay. Uh, let's look at her. It's all my fault. It definitely is your fault. Uh, what can I do to help? Listen, Alfred, like, go make yourself useful with your huge chin. Martha is definitely my favorite child. Uh, I'm going to look around, see if, there's, see if there's something I can pick up. Oh, there's a cloak here. Okay. That's, that, that, will, that will help with covering. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, the children. I should reassure them. Children? Yes, children. Listen to me. Uh, Alfred, go make yourself Alfred. useful. Uh, get some warm water. Get more warm. Take snow if you must. There you go. So apparently snow is good enough now that we have an emergency situation. Okay, Martha. Uh, we're going to need reeds. Okay. Are we, are we going to be cutting the umbilical cord with, with the reeds? What's, I, I don't understand his thing. Uh, what else can we do here? Uh, tell her a story about a man named Jed. What else can I do for you? Okay, yeah, that I can do. Can I go he he who? He he who. Alright, so we got the water. Um, Alfred's back. Can I give you another order? Look around. Alfred! Uh, make the fire bigger. I, I was. I, I, I wouldn't get, uh, like, Martha to do it, because, you know, kids and fires, sometimes not a good thing. But dude's got a huge chin, so I trust him with the fire, even though I don't trust him with anything else. Uh, okay, can I do anything with the water here? Uh, -boo -doo. Oh, no, that's the options menu. Uh, bucket. There we go. Disinfect my hands. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you another story. Keep your mind off the pain. Oh, that's a story. Listen, we have a turnip, so it's better than some people. What happened to your sister? Uh, look around. Now go take care of your sister, dude. Because she has disappeared. And uh, I'm starting to worry about her. There's nothing for you to do, dude. Uh, okay. Um, oh, there she is. Uh, hee hee hoo. He he who, he he. Okay. Fade to black. That's a lot of blood. Really? That's the first thing you say about the new kid. That that is a scary amount of blood. Um, I'm not a a rocket surgeon, but that's probably not a good thing. Um. I, I try, honey. I try. Cool. How could I ever forget? 
Whoa, like, you tell them that in front of the children? Maybe go for, like, a little bit more of a, a PG story? Me too. Okay. Okay. What next? I, I get the feeling we're in for a sad moment here. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah, that's, that's a scary man of blood. Uh oh, that's that's that that's not fighting. You need fighting words. Stay with me, Agnes. No, no, Agnes, wake up. Oh God. Ah. Uh, yes, wake up, Agnes. Oh well, this is this is a cheery moment. And Alfred, your big stupid chin. Makes this moment even worse. Oh, that's a delightful start to this series. A little bit of sad childbirth. Uh, as the camera pulls away and the snow falls gently. Maybe dragging my, like, nine months pregnant wife into the woods. Probably not the greatest idea that I've ever had. Or at least Tom has ever had. It wasn't my idea. You did the hangar? No. Oh, we got like some credits, like the start of a, a show. Producers Casper Michel and Matt Kempe. Warm Walt. Well, it's, uh, I, I gotta say, so far, in terms of. I mean, the, the gameplay is kind of your standard adventure game fare, so. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but in terms of storytelling and stuff, it's 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 really good. Uh, I'm liking it so far. Hopefully you are too. Uh, I'm gonna let maybe the credits play for another little bit before I back end. I'm not sure how the. I know that there was a prompt about the game auto saving, so I guess it's probably going to save. Can, can I click through this just to make it go like a little bit faster? I mean, I I understand giving everybody credit where credit is due, but that's, that's a pretty pretty silhouette. The Pillars of the Earth. Okay. Okay. Fade to black. Fade to black. What do we got now? Uh, what you did. Okay, so this was the prologue. You want your cathedral to bring hope. You told Agnes that you accept any job. Uh, you were forgiving of Alfred's behavior, struggling to support Agnes. Did I? I thought I was doing a pretty good job. You found important information about Tom's past. Okay. Except. I, I, so I guess it's it's one of those things where it's like the Walking Dead games where your choices actually have consequences. Like real life, chapter one oh. Philip. Okay. Who's Philip? Is Philip the child? We got a bridge. This reminds me of coming into the sanctuary in Fallout 4 with the, with the bridge. Good times. Good times. Kingsbridge, New Year's Day. I'm gonna stroke my pony. You always give your pony a good stroke. They appreciate that. Who goes there? It's no vice. Well, where'd you come from, dude? Well, yeah, I'm standing on this end of the bridge, and there's no other way for me to appear on this end. What? Uh, form about the mistake. So we're charging people to cross a bridge. Have some cheese, dude. It is not much, but I can share this. You know, I got I got some cheese. 
It's a real good time. Is it moldy? There's kind of some questionable darkness on one side. The cloth still spills a bit of cheese there. Around. Okay. Well, we'll take our cloth back. Don't want dude to steal our cheesecloth. Okay. Will you take care of my horse? Uh, my horse brother? My brother is Bojack Horseman. That's him, the bells are told him. Leave the horse here, I'll get it down to the priory later. Somebody die? I'm suspecting he's dead. Uh, okay, I thought the devil went down to Georgia. That's a baller haircut. Looking for a soul to steal. Philip's Bible. You can use Philip's Bible on objects to find out what the Bible tells Philip about them, or use that uh, people to discuss matters of faith. Okay, where where do go? Where to go? Uh, can I use my Bible on my cheesecloth? No. Okay. Well, uh, use the Bible on the pony. I'm going to sprout. There you go. There you go. You want you want some cheese, pony? What is this? This is a hut. I'm guessing it's not a pizza hut. It's a toll hut. Usually Brother Paul sits here. But where is Paul? Okay. Well, can I... She's getting old. I was in St. John even before me. Uh, can I grab my pony? Is there anything useful on the pony? Uh, no, I, I just patted him. Okay. Uh, fine, prior James. Okay, so I'm guessing since it was for whom the bells tolled here, uh, we're going to go down to the King's Bridge. It, it's like the Hamlet from Darkest Dungeon all over again. Not really. Not really. I'm, I'm guessing there's less fishmen and uh, Cthulhu less horrors. Uh, all right, so I guess we're here. Uh, building by the fields, we have a gate and road to the north. I'm kind of guessing that we gotta go to the cathedral. So I'm gonna go to the cathedral. To the gate of the cathedral, anyway. Hello? Anybody got any spare cheese? I just gave away my cheese. Is that my pony? Did he get here, like, that quickly? Horse. Looks like a strong mare. Must belong to a guest. A nobleman. Herbal odor. Should be cleaned. Neglect. Let's use the Bible on the church. Uh, so we have a collapsed tower. Should be removed. For you, it, oh, it was struck by lightning. Morals has collapsed as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if your church gets struck by lightning, you gotta wonder about that. We have a guest house. We have a kitchen door. Let's let's go straight in because we heard the the bells are tolling. Hello. Okay. Uh, classic adventure game stuff where the obvious entrance is not the uh, way. Let's try the cloister. See if we're no from darkest dungeon is there. Praying himself up. Man, look at that art. That is that is some lovely looking art. Makes me feel really bad about the crappy pixel art that I do. Garden. Winter has taken its toll. Planting seed. It's like training a novice. Great things will come of it. What does the word of God say? Okay. I'm, I'm hearing somebody doing some preaching or something like that. Chapter house. Path to the cemetery. This is the door into the cathedral. So we'll sneak in through the side here. See if there's a service coming on. Man, it, it totally is Darkest Dungeon all over again. As the game fades to black. I've always wondered about that monk haircut where they shave everything down on top. Should look up the meaning of that.
do just light up some torches, it won't be so dark. Philip. Everybody's squinting. Who was the prior prior? Or the prior prior prior? Ah, uh, man. Okay. So, we went in, dude talked a bit, and we came out. Uh, okay. Okay. But he didn't listen. He's going to Maine? It's a place in Maine, right? Gloucester? Lobster fishing place? Of or Gloucester? Uh, we're happy and healthy. I'm not going to say we're better than here. You guys suck with your broken down tower and stuff. Dude with the beard looks to me like he's wondering if he left the stove on and is, is kind of looking to like get it. It's like, man, I hope this conversation ends so I can go and I, I would have gave you some cheese, dude, but uh, I, I gave it to the guy by the, the river. Okay, yeah, he's, he's going to the kitchen to check out the stove, I told you. Bye. I know, but some people are into, uh, you know, into some kinky stuff, and you can't really judge them for that. That. I, I gotta say, that takes dedication. Dude chopped a hole in the ice. Okay, you do that. Okay. I, I'm still wondering, like... What happened to like the the dude and his like three kids and the, and especially that one turnip? So apparently the spot to be is the kitchen. Like I said, dude looked like he. What is Francis doing here and where is he? Okay, let's let's take it. So what do we have? We have our inventory and stuff. Uh, I'm going to end things off there. I gotta say I'm I'm enjoying this. Uh, you know, like you said, it's great art style and stuff. If not for the gameplay, because there hasn't been that much, but for the storytelling. So, uh, maybe expect more episodes of this in the future. Hey, if you liked what you saw here, think about liking the video. Think about subscribing to the channel. We'll see you next time. Take care and have yourself a great day.